Uh, hi, my name is Amy. Welcome to my Honda Element setup. Um, I designed this setup mainly for short camping trips or having a nice place to um, hang out, read, um, work a little bit uh, when I was in transit going from one place to the next. So I know Tacomas and Jeep Wranglers are really good. There's a reason why they're so popular and so many people want them. But for me personally, I like it when people do things a little differently. I actually like seeing lifted Toyota Prius campers. I think that's pretty cool. And like I said, I'm all about the vans. Prius Off-Road. They make lift kits for Priuses and Toyota cars like Corollas. Showing you guys the Prius V because my buddy Holdfast says he would drive a Prius V and it would be cool to have another camping vehicle other than our vans. We love our vans, but they're horrible on fuel, so it would be cool to camp in different vehicles sometimes. I agree. My next uh, build is going to be a lifted Dodge Caravan, so this one's for you, hold fast. So I want to give a shout out to my friend Gil, my coworker. So he watches my YouTube channel. And he gave me some good feedback. He told me he really enjoyed my videos on Slab City and Salt and Sea. And he said, when I travel, I should make more videos like that, talk about history. So we were talking, and I said, dude, you're a active lifestyle guy. You should get a van. And he told me he actually wants a Honda Element. He's not really into trucks, but he really likes the Honda Element. So me being me, John drives anything. I didn't name my channel that for, you know, no reason. There's a reason for that. I pretty much am interested in all kinds of vehicles, and I like it when things are different, when people have different ideas. So I told them, Honda Elements are actually really popular to convert into campers. That first clip I showed you guys at the beginning, I saw that clip a couple of years ago. I just remembered it when he told me um, he wants a Honda Element. So... Yeah, feel free to check out that channel if that looked interesting. Uh, YouTube recommended recommended it to me, and you know I like to support people, support uh, other channels when I see something different. So this Honda Element right here is eighteen five, a little pricey, but there's a reason for that. It has a pop top, so check this out. Oh, and it has a cool aftermarket bumper. Honda Elements actually have a pretty good aftermarket. Aftermarket bumper, pop top, has a little ladder on it, spare tire holder. But let's take a look at that pop top. It's really cool. So this person was able to retain their seat. And where do you sleep? You sleep up here when you pop the top up. So there you go. That's what it looks like with the pop top up. It's not a cheap mod either. So there you go, there's what it looks like up. It's a very interesting vehicle. It's not quite as big as a minivan. It's it's a small vehicle, but still big enough to sleep in. That's what's really um, cool about the Honda Element, but small enough to also be fuel efficient. So it's a good size where you could sleep in it, but still fuel efficient. Of course, you're not gonna hang with Jeep Wranglers off-road, but it has a good departure angle good approach angle this is very nice for basic camping overlanding something different and this is what the well is it really different if it's popular right i think this might be more popular than our vans but um here's a pop top 7500 it's not a cheap mod but there's obviously enough interest in the honda element for something like this to be invented yeah i try to i I was able to look at the prices at the website earlier, but now it's just crashing. But 7500 not cheap. So, yeah, for some reason, their website's not loading. Let's go ahead and take a look. Just had a basic one. $6,200 with only 110,000 miles. That's cheap. So, yeah, interesting size. Not quite as big as a minivan, but behind the driver's seat, just enough space to sleep in. This one looks good. Good price. 
Yeah, and then when you look at the front, it has the flat load floor, so you could do the whole walk in between the seats to get to your sleeping area. I'm a big fan of that when you're able to do that, when you don't have to climb over anything, like, or if there's nothing, no divider where you can't get to it. That's why I'm not really a fan of um, a lot of truck campers. A lot of times you can't, you need to get out of the vehicle to get to the back unless you have the window that slides that, you know, you could crawl through the window. But I do like how you could walk in between the seats. That's one of my favorite things about my van is I could just go between the seats, get to my sleeping area. And then this one's 10.9. I just wanted to share this one. Uh, I'm not an expert on Honda Elements, but this being a Honda, I said Honda is all about the fun. That's They're all about their VTEC and their race motors, their race-derived motors. So I said this has to have a manual transmission option. And I was correct. There is a manual transmission option, which I prefer. You know, if you like manual, there it is right there. Honda Elements could be had in a manual. So let's take a look at more stuff here with the Honda Elements. So if you don't want to spend $7,000 on a pop top, this company actually sells stuff for the Honda Element to, um, you know, make it a cool camper so rooftop tent and you could also sleep inside so of course you're not going to set up a rooftop tent at a rest area so you're going to sleep in the vehicle so you got two options for sleeping if that sounds good to you so yeah really cool really cool vehicle like I always knew they were popular because I saw that video recommended to me and I saw several other. I believe Honda Elements have meetups. I should check that in a second. I believe there's Honda Element meets. I saw that recommended to me once. Freeway camper kit. So yeah, they call this like their meet their uh van convert. Yeah, camper van kit for a Honda Element. So cool stuff and here's the most important mod right here you know I'm all about my lift kits even though I don't lift my geo tracker I'm all about the lift kits when it comes to vans but this is the top of the line lift kit for the Honda element 1795 it's a coilover system and you could keep your Honda element stock height or adjust it to be up to three inches taller so a very expensive kit, but that's still a really good price. $17.95 for coilovers. And then like I said, the Honda Element does have an excellent departure and approach angle. You're not going to go head-to-head -head with Jeeps. But some people don't want to go head-to-head -head with Jeep Wranglers. They just want to get to a middle-of-nowhere spot. And looking at this setup, it'll do it. And this is, uh, these get, I believe, like 25 miles per gallon. My van on its best day will get 19 miles per gallon, maybe with a little help downhill and uh, a tailwind behind me. That's my best MPG ever with 19. But typically on my van, stop and go traffic, I'm getting like 10 to 12 miles per gallon. Road trips, 14 to 16, you know, with traffic sprinkled here and there. These are going to get 20 probably 20 city 25 plus highway so that's the appeal of something like this i know jeep wranglers don't get very good fuel economy i believe they get like 20 tops tacomas get 20 tops so these honda elements get 25 so yeah that's very appealing to some people and like i said you're not gonna go toe to toe with the wrangler but yeah this has some good proportions to do some overlanding so really cool so yeah, if you watch my channel, you know I talk about all kinds of different vehicles. Maybe just watch what I have to say about certain vehicles. And now maybe you're watching this and saying, I never thought I wanted a Honda Element. Now I want a Honda Element. I almost want a Honda Element. But here's my next project right here. I've been working on my days off again. I said I want to do this when I hit... 20,000 subscribers. I don't want to wait that long. I want to do this as soon as possible. I'm not getting rid of my full size van. I just want an extra camping rig. I would like to make this a summer camping rig, put a rooftop tent on it, and still be able to sleep inside. So, 
yeah this is my next project right here I do like the Honda element though I almost want one like I knew you could get things for it but man I didn't know it was to um Prius V again but yeah I didn't know it was to this extent like that lift kit I showed you guys, that was an expensive lift kit, but there there are spacer kits that are like five hundred dollars, so you don't have to get one that's seventeen ninety five. So there you go. This one's for you, Gil. Honda Element, and you are welcome to join me and my friends at our van meets, man. I would love to see a Honda Element there. If anyone is watching this right now, you got a Honda Element. You want to join a meet, you're welcome to join my van meets. In fact, before I wrap up this video, let me YouTube search Honda Element Meet. I, I, I want to say I remember seeing one, like, recommended to me. YouTube searched Honda Element Meet, and there you go. Look at all those Honda Elements lined up. So, there you go, Gil. If you uh, get a Honda Element, there's actually meets for them, but if you do get one... I would like it if you joined me on one of my lifted van meets. Like I said before, you guys don't even have to have a lifted van to join one of these meets. I would love to see Gil in a Honda Element join us. So good luck getting a Honda Element, man. They're really cool. And like looking at them today, I almost want one. If it wasn't for me wanting a lifted Dodge Caravan, <laughs> I would get a Honda Element like uh yeah, a Honda Element build. I was considering a Honda Odyssey because I saw one in person. This is what really inspired me to want a lifted minivan build. Once I saw a lifted minivan in person, I said, okay, I want one now. But the reason why I'm going with the Dodge Caravan is because the Honda Odyssey has a two inch lift. The Dodge Caravan has one inch more, a three inch lift and Every bit counts when you're doing a little off-roading, so unless I find a really good deal on a 2005 to 2017 Honda Odyssey, most likely I'm going with the Dodge Caravan. If you're a regular on my channel, you know I'm all about lifted vans. Here's my lifted van, and I spotted one, and I had to pull over to film it real quick. Look at this thing. It's a lifted Honda Odyssey. This thing is nice. Yeah, man. I like all lifted vans. You never see a lifted minivan. That's cool.